Back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. Now that Darren Till, UFC rising star and top welterweight prospect, actually he's a top welterweight contender at this point. I don't even know if that's a prospect because I believe he's ranked number seven and he's about to be fighting the number one ranked Stephen Wonderboy Thompson at the headliner of UFC Liverpool. So Darren Till is a guy, man, that's on the rise, but he's still very young in his game. He's undefeated. He's got a win over Donald Cowboy Cerrone, but before that, he hadn't really beat a, a many top UFC, you know, ranked competition. He's beat some guys that, you know, other undefeated guys he's fought. He's fought some um, high level guys, but they didn't have the name or the number beside their name. So people don't really give Darren Till his credit yet. But he's got a lot of promise. The way he dispatched of Donald Cerrone in the first round with the KO, he's got a lot of confidence about himself. But still, the top guys in the world of the welterweight division, they're, they're not really sold on Darren Till yet. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, I believe, has you know said something along the lines of, "Yeah, you know, I'm gonna." He believes he's gonna get the knockout here. He believes Darren Till's a little overconfident, um, not proven enough yet. Even Steve, UFC welterweight Tyron Woodley was asked about Darren Till, and he said he, he believes he's going to be light work for Wonderboy. So, Darren Till is looking to not only prove um, that all the rest of the welterweights I'm coming, the champion and everybody and the fans, actually, I would say he's, he's going to prove that. He's trying to prove that in his fight, but he doesn't necessarily care what people think about him leading up to that point. Like when he, be, of course, he feels like he's ready for the moment. If you listen to anything Darren Till says, he'll convince you he's ready for this shot. He's also ready to become the champion and move up and become a champ, champ, champ. I mean, listening to Darren Till, he'll really sell you on it. But at the same time, there are some proven guys like Stephen Wonderboy Thompson and Tyron Woodley that are not going to be some tough, you know, just some easy task that you can just walk through, even though. You know, a lot. it might feel like that when you listen to Darren Till talk. But Darren Till doesn't really care what anybody thinks. If you think he's a hype, if you think he's all hype, if you think Wonder Boy is going to stop him, if you think he he's not ready for Wonder Boy, if uh, Tyron Woodley thinks he's light work, this is what Darren Till had to say. I don't really give a fuck about Woodley says. What does light work actually mean? I don't know what that means. Is any fight light work? Is he trying to say I'm light work? That just doesn't make any sense to me. That doesn't make any sense at all. No one is light work at all, so he can tune in the 27th of May if he thinks anyone is going to make light work of me, and I'm going to show everyone. So Yeah, Tyron Woodley, I, I, would, I would suggest you tune in too, because if Darren Till wins this fight, he's very likely going to be fighting the winner of Woodley versus the interim champion, and that he's going to be the legitimate number one contender in the world, which is what Stephen Wonderboy Thompson is right now. Got the number one beside his name. If Darren Till beats him, boom, we got a new number one. The thing is, we've got Rafael Dos Anjos and Colby Covington fighting for that interim belt at UFC 225. So they're going to be fighting Tyron Woodley next because it'll be interim champion versus, versus champion. You know, they got to unify that belt. But then the winner of that for sure going to be fighting the number one contender. If Covington or Dos Anjos manage to beat Woodley, Wonder Boy could get a crack at the title. He beats Till. But if Till wins, then he's going to be fighting the winner of that. So the welterweight division is moving with these fights scheduled. I can't wait. Darren Till doesn't give a fluke if you think he's ready for Wonder Boy or not. That's not going to stop him from coming in there in front of his home crowd and trying to prove he's the number one ranked welterweight in the world and shut shit down. I can't wait for that fight. It's going to be insane. Great time to be an MMA fan. Let the full time fan know what you think in the comments. I'm out. And as always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm out. This is number one bullshit.